Why do people keep having kids when they can't support the ones they already have? This is the age-old question, to which there has never been a good answer. Have you asked her? I would love to know what she says. Unfortunately, her kids won't be rich enough to live off the system by applying for millions in PPP. Loans or doing insider trading. The only time Americans see, living off the system, is when a poor person is getting help from a government. It has more to do with their disdain for the poor and less to do with corruption and robbery. Most of which is done by bankers and millionaires. This is the exact mindset why Americans can never have free healthcare because they don't want others to live off the system, as millionaires in Congress enjoy free healthcare. The golden question I would also like an answer to. Poverty mindset. Growing up, without, creates an emptiness and a constant need for affection. Things. And feeling important. So people get into relationships. And bad situations. Without a plan and end up making desperate and awful decisions. Many grow up seeing this baby mama, father culture and just carry on the tradition. Many persons from low-income households do not have easy access to preventative care. Many are not or are undereducated, not to mention the poor or no sex education. And also, some people have no purpose in life and think they will find fulfillment in having kids. That being said having access to good education and social services can help to reduce poverty and illiteracy giving persons the chance to develop critical thinking. I'm assuming she's not impregnating herself. So why are you only calling out her and not the father? S. Of any of these children? Why do you on only refer to them as her kids? Aren't they, his kids, too? Hard to pull out. Until this summer, I would have said the answer is simple. She is having another child because she wants one. Just like anyone. Now, though, she may not have a choice. If she lives in the US. Americans only worry about the allocation of their taxes when it supports the community. Dot not when. It bails out corporations or funds a military budget that dwarfs most countries' GDPs. You sir, madam, et al. are an asshole. My wife and I were doing fine financially when we had our kids. Costs increased faster than pay in the intervening years. And now we're somewhat poor by Western Canadian standards. Utilizing the food bank and other social safety net features. You presume a lot about the order in which things happen by extrapolating from your anecdotal. Single mother. Well, if you're too poor to afford reliable birth control. And sex is a cheap source of entertaining yourself and your so. Maybe she was successful once and hit a temporary bump in the road. I have three kids and never thought I'd be on government assistance. I have my master's degree. I'm a veteran. And shouldn't need it, right? But no. My family has hit a rough patch and me being the only income earner is rough. But I know this is temporary. And I am grateful for the assistance. While I know there are those who use the system. Shame on them. There are also those who do need the help and have waited a long time to ask for it. And are grateful. A lot of the people I know on government assistance are people that work and just don't make enough. To cover their expenses. Sometimes it's just to cover buying fresh food instead of packaged. Processed garbage. You do an awful lot of speculation and forecasting on this mother and her children. Do you know her exact financial situation? Are you paying her bills? Why do you care? Do her children live in the apartment on top of yours and mosh all night in steep-toed boots? Unless she's not a good mother and abusing her children. I don't understand the vitriol tbh. I'm assuming she grew up the same. Generational trauma. 
They don't think rationally. Think about maybe the barriers that they have. I'm assuming you're in the US? Maybe abortion and birth control are not covered and they can't afford it? Their lives are miserable and sex is fun. This is a pretty easy answer. It's human nature to want to have sex. People do what they want. Essentially. As someone who has worked in the system, having kids is actually good if you are living with government help. Your benefits increase by the amount of people in your household. It's not fair but it is the reality. Had a client with five kids and one on the way. Government paid for her five-bedroom apartment and food-wise she received the maximum allowed amount. Got he number of people. It is what it is. The system is broken. I'm sure there are many reasons but I think selfishness. For me, supporting a child, children doesn't stop at monetary support. It includes time, emotional and love. It blows my mind how many parents I see have multiple children but they are never spending time with them. They are either always working, have them in some after school program, activity or sports. So they spend very little time with their kids. And when they do, you hear many parents default to, I can't wait till they go back to school. I get it. There is a balance and parents need a break in time for themselves. Everyone does. But some people legit don't even want to spend time or be with their kids. Like, why did you even have them? Money doesn't equal love. There is just so much more to it than just financial support. However, if the parents are already struggling to financially provide for one, definitely should not add any more to an equation that they are already having issues solving. No brains. Man, this thread can really be summed up with sterilize the pores. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.